One year since the day he died, friends and family of a teen killed walking home from a park came together to remember the 14 year old. The woman charged with hitting him and leaving the scene is still out on bail, scheduled to face a jury this summer. And Kim Passoff is live out at the Whitney Library, where the team's life was celebrated tonight. Kim? John and Jacqueline, the Slam Academy student was walking across the street when he was hit by that hit and run driver. Take a look behind me at the street tonight. You can see that balloons are still tied to the light post here. They were left by his classmates earlier tonight. Dozens of them came together for a balloon release in his memory. Him passing was a very big deal to everybody because he was just that one person that everybody would always go to, that one person everybody would always talk to. He was just that person. And when you're missing that person, everybody comes in together. There were red, white, and yellow balloons, some of Acadian Franknopolis' favorite colors. Slam Academy, Academy students wearing t-shirts with his name and picture on it, along with family members gathered at Tropicana Avenue in Morris just after sundown, around the same time that Acadian was run over by the hit and run driver while in a marked crosswalk just days before his 15th birthday. The woman accused of running over Acadian and then driving away is Crystal Helm. She is out on bail and just last month she entered a not guilty plea. A judge ordered she can only drive to and from work and must have a breath interlock device on her car as she awaits trial in July. Acadian's classmates are anxiously awaiting her day in court. We are still fighting to try to get some type of justice for Acadian a year later. You would think that a year later this process would be easier for these kids, but it's not. And there have been changes here at the intersection since the teen's death one year ago, but his friends say it is not enough. And I can tell you firsthand, I have seen it tonight, even with the flashing lights here, when people are waiting to cross, drivers are still going through this intersection. And his friends say that they do not want to see another life lost here. We'll continue to follow it and bring you updates. For now, we are live in the East Valley. Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.